Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Today we are filming on location in Denver, Colorado at the Booth Dance Sport Ballroom. I have with me Sherry who is one of the Sew Like a Pro members. And she is only the third member that I've ever met, though there is a fourth one hanging in the wings here. We can't convince <laughs> Sally to be on camera too. Jordan is a student here at the Booth Studio, and you take lessons at the Booth Studio I also, do. correctly? Mm -hmm. This gorgeous dress is a gown that Sherry made after she had enrolled in the Sew Like a Pro courses. Now, I won't take 100% credit for this because you were an experienced seamstress before you began, correct? Um, a little bit. I had oh. made maybe two dresses before I started the class, so not, not oh, a Oh, then I'll take 98% credit. <laughs> What was your original um, intent with this dress? Did it have a, a purpose? Okay, so originally this dress was designed for Diana Strashnikova, who is one of our instructors here, and she needed it for a pasta double showcase. And so um, originally it had, instead of the slit being on the side of the dress, it was actually in the middle because she wanted to be able to roll up the skirt and be able to play with that in the pasta. Um, and then after um, she was finished with it, she's like, you know what, this is a great dress. Let's make it usable for a smooth. And so we actually turned the dress around and um, then Jordan bought it for herself so she could dance with it on her <laughs> smooth competition team. So. See, now that's a really awesome story because a lot of you want to get the most bang for your buck and being turning the skirt around and reusing it for something else or removing the skirt and putting a you know, fringe skirt or a beaded skirt or, you know, depending on what your ice dance routine is or what your Latin or smooth dress is, when you can take a really solid bodice like this and change out the skirts, it's 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 good thing because you save money and you feel like you have a new dress even if you didn't. So even if you had worn this dress as a pasta doble dress to begin with and now have it as this sexy, really sleek, smooth gown, you would feel like you had a new dress. So I love, I'm gonna run you through all of this. This is a black mesh, mesh over skin on the arms, and from the looks of it, mesh. It's all mesh. Yep, so mesh over, um, how do you feel, you're like super tiny, so you don't necessarily <laughs> need any body support in here, which is good, because I mean, and this shows off your figure beautifully. Actually, let me talk, I was gonna let Sherry talk, but let me, <laughs> let me say this first, because I wanna tell you, as far as a design goes, this is really an ideal design for your figure, even though it was not necessarily intended for you to begin with. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is that you have, you're very petite, and none of us are really tall, but so what this does is because it goes up over the shoulders, it gives her a lot of height, you have really broad shoulders, which is nice because then it makes your waist and your hips look tinier. So this plunging V adds even more vertical height, making her look nice and long. This skirt attachment point is perfect on your body because, so well done, Sherry, <laughs> because it really emphasizes how tiny the waist is and then having it's not too high, it's not too low. It's really the perfect position there. And then this fun skirt. You can see how everything flows. It's just gorgeous. So, how the only one thing I would change is I would make the flesh-colored cups match her skin better. She's usually tan. I was gonna say this okay. is perfect. <laughs> a little ghostly right now. Sorry. So, <laughs> she's actually heading out to the Seattle Star Ball later this weekend, and um, she hasn't had the time to open okay. up yet. So you normally she is so perfect. She's perfect. perfect. So, because because that really is if you're buying a dress used and the bra cups don't, you're buying a ready-made one off the rack, and the bra cups don't match your skin tone, consider changing them out so that it's as seamless looking as possible. Mm -hmm. Now, what is your favorite part about this dress when you wear it? Oh, uh, um, that's really hard, because honestly, it's all of it. You were mentioning how it doesn't hold in. You know, there's nothing really covering, but it honestly feels like it is. I mean, like, the mesh just holds really well. Um, I love the lace. I love the skirt. It's so I love the way it moves, yeah. um, and it does, it makes me feel like I have long lines, because like she said, I'm, I'm 5'1", so I'm not very long. So it feels good to have long lines, uh, again, the lace and the skirt, and it's just the way yeah. all of it works together. 
And then as the seamstress and the designer too, or you co-designed it with Deanna? Yes, Deanna really designed it. I just kind of, she gave me a sketch. We talked about okay. what I wanted it to look like, and then I went from All right. design. So then as the seamstress, what was the, um, what was the most challenge with this dress? <laughs> um, initially, I think it was making sure that this was at the right tension so that it mm -hmm. stayed in a V instead of going wonky. Like, yes. Um, and the dress back there was my first attempt at a long mm -hmm. one, and it's pretty wonky. Oh, yeah. The, the, the dresses <laughs> so, in the background are also one Sherry made. Yeah. This so, is really well done. Yeah. I, I mean, because yeah. if I, it really is, it's nice and balanced. The V doesn't pull askew to one side or the other. I think I think I just measured better with this one. Um, honestly, I think with that one, we literally just went like this and didn't do it straight. So, okay. so having having it on a pattern and making sure it was mm -hmm. symmetrical before I even tried to finish it helped yes. a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's go ahead and have you turn around, please, Jordan. And so, what is? Your, we hadn't even talked about the back yet. I haven't even seen the back, truthfully, until just now. So this, as, turn sideways for a minute, please, ma'am. So this actually hugs really, really well because the spine always curves in and then curves out again, as it should with the human spine. This really fits pretty well. Could I take more in to make it hug more? Probably, but it doesn't really need it. And whenever you're making a dress like this, it's really, a choice do you you have to have seams somewhere so you chose to not have seams on the side and instead to have a seam up the back where the zipper is that was actually a design element she wanted it to be more sleek and yes. so we tried really hard to not have any seams on it except for the back zipper but it also made it more difficult to um, take it in where it needed to be correct so part of the reason why it's lower is because we didn't really want to put big darts or anything like that so it was a way to kind of Right. Make it stay close to the body without having a lot of odd seams. I, I, I actually agree with that yeah. because it's easier because you can see how much the shoulder seams show. Mm -hmm. It's easier to camouflage a zipper than it is to camouflage side seams, especially when there's such a minimal amount of lace on this. So if you have a dress like this and the zipper on this is beautifully done, I have to say, because putting a zipper a full zipper is the most difficult zipper that I've ever set in because there are so you're working with, I have to turn sideways again, you're working with sometimes a curve at the neck for the cervical notch, then you're working at the thoracic curve, then you're working at the lumbar curve, and then you've got the fourth curve down here at the coccyx and the sacrum. So I sound like I'm a physician, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> when you can get a zipper fitting this beautifully, I'm a proud parent. But, but really, no, you did all the work. This is fabulous. Mm -hmm. but the However, one thing we did find with the zipper was it kept getting snagged as she was going up and down. So yeah. um, it's an invisible zipper, and usually you don't have to go back and do the stitching on the, the tape mm -hmm. after you get it in. But we decided to go ahead and do that because that would keep the mesh just far enough away from the teeth of the zipper so it wouldn't snag anymore. So yes. We actually did go, and, and there's, you can't tell, but there's stitching on the zipper tape. Yeah, you can't Afterwards. see it at all. Because, yeah, the mesh wants yeah, to curl as soon as you unzip it, yeah. and it's really annoying <laughs> and frustrating. This is beautifully done. What would you like to say was your biggest accomplishment with this dress? Because we covered your biggest challenge. What do you think your biggest accomplishment was here? Well, it was funny. When I went shopping with Deanna for the dress, she, like, saw this 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 is actually swimsuit lining material so it's a lot lighter <laughs> oh, than like regular lycra uh -huh. and it got so caught in the teeth of my sewing machine i was like i hate this material <laughs> but it actually flows really pretty so it actually it turned does. out to be a really good choice yeah. um, but it would not have been a fabric i would have chosen my own right but she really just liked how sleek it looked and how it moved mm -hmm. and yeah so. It has, what's really nice about this fabric, other than the fact that it's economical, is that it has a tiny little bit of sheen. And the great thing about sheen on a black dress is that it reflects light just a little bit, which you can tell from the camera, without necessarily competing with all the jet rhinestones that are on the lace. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a really wide crinoline in the hem. Yeah, it's probably a three inch crinoline. Okay, and, um, which is like a 7.5, 75 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and it, so because the skirt was so white, because this is actually a paneled skirt, um, a fluted paneled skirt, and so and she wanted it really flowy because initially it was for possibility. Mm -hmm. um, so to try to fold that under was going to be a nightmare. So we actually yeah. went back and folded or cut a, a round, um, a curved 
second oh. like hem and then sew that to the hem and then use that to fold it into because uh -oh. that way there wasn't those weird gathers you get sometimes when you're trying to fold up a longer skirt into a smaller circumference. Yes, because like in the sewing school, I say you can do the flip yeah. with up to maybe an inch, inch and a half, or what's that, do? five centimeter, 50, 50 millimeter crinlin, something like that you could not. That took a while, probably. It, yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest thing. This is why I love you ladies, and because you all, Sally's tucked away over there, that's why I looked over there. You ladies are so creative and so just inspiring for me because they all keep me on my toes because <laughs> you all take on big challenges. <laughs> yeah, um, when Deanna needs a dress, it's sometimes last minute, so yeah, she keeps me on my toes. <laughs> wow. <So. laughs> all righty, well, we are going to go because we have a few more dresses of cherries that we're going to talk about. So if you have found value in today's video, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address, and I'll make sure I get to send you the newsletters. Ugh, easy for me to say, I'll send you the newsletters, and make sure that you know when the Sew Like a Pro courses are open for enrollment. Also, tell me what's your biggest challenge when you're making your own dress? How many have you made before? Was it like reinventing the wheel, or did it go pretty smoothly? And were you happy with the final product, such as with Jordan's dress. So that is it. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Jordan. And thanks to everyone at Booth Dance Sport Ballroom in Denver, Colorado. We will talk to you again another time.